So um, I want to talk about the fact that Julian Assange should be free. There's absolutely no reason for him to be in prison, uh, but he's being wrongfully imprisoned or, or, or continued to be wrongfully imprisoned at this point uh, with no evidence or proof. Um, no, no, there's nothing standing. You know, uh, they're they're kind of keeping him in prison to keep him in prison. Um, and, you know, they can't claim that he's a flight risk because that's been null and void. Uh, he just wants to go home um, and see his family and his kids. Uh, he, th they can't claim that he's a hacker because they, the, the key witness to prove that kind of crap just came out and said that he committed perjury, confessed to perjury, and now has disappeared, is on the run. He's also a child molester, uh, a repeat child molester, is also a, a, a confirmed sociopath. Uh, and it's like, that's who you guys have as a key witness. It's hard to take a sociopath's word because the, the crux of being a sociopath is being exploitative and manipulative, uh, and feeling no remorse about your actions. So it's really hard to like, be like, yeah, that confirmed sociopath was our key witness. Oh, really? Well, it looks like you don't have a fucking case. So, um, the UK Parliament is refusing to have a meeting with Assange and the Labour Party penned a letter against her refusal, basically saying that they need to meet with the guy um, and figure out how to get him out. He served his time. The, ca the case is falling apart. The case against him is falling apart. And they don't have any real legal standing of keeping him in prison except to, keep, except to continue torturing him, uh, which... The UN Rapporteur on Torture, Niels Melzer, has said that is absolutely what's happening to Julian Assange. He is absolutely being tortured. He's absolutely being tortured. Uh, the extradition is illegal. They've lost that, right? Uh, the judge basically came out and said, yeah, U.S. prisons are the equivalent of giant trash fires that will make people commit suicide. And uh, yeah, we're not cool with that. We're not cool with that. Turns out, turns out even, even the British judge that hates Julian Assange is like, I don't, I would have wished the US prisons on my worst enemy. Like, this should not be a thing. And America's like, yeah, but how cool is it that it is, though, right? How cool is it that we have an institution that's basically slavery and it makes people want to kill them? That's pretty that's pretty cool, right? Like, that's awesome, right? You're oh, you're saying it's not awesome? Well, fuck you. And now they're like, we're going to try to figure out a different way to extradite Assange. But they don't have a case. They don't have a case. They don't have legal standing. So why is Julian Assange in prison? Except now it's like the only reason why he's in prison is because they're using him as, as an example. They're using him as an example for anybody in the media, anybody in the press, any publishers to, to not challenge U.S. imperialism, to not challenge corporate imperialism. If you if you challenge the corporate oligarchy, they're basically saying we're just going to imprison you for the sake of imprisoning you. There, there, all of the all of the bullshit surrounding the Assange case, all of the bullshit surrounding his character or any of that shit is gone. It's gone. This is something like Biden can let go of the extradition right now and say, OK, let him out. Let him out. We got nothing. But instead, no, let's just go bomb Syria and Iraq and blame Iran for it. No, Iran didn't fucking do that. In fact, you're one of one of the things Assange revealed is how indiscriminate you are with murdering Iraqi civilians and journalists. And you're like, no, no, no I'm, we're going to keep doing that, though. Let's keep doing the things that 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 has been exposed about the U.S. military. I mean, I, I, honestly, after you watch the collateral murder video, how what where what is your justification for U.S. wars? There is none. But that's what centrists do, right? They're like, oh, let's justify, let's justify mass murder. It's fine. What you have to consider about genocide. Yeah, those are dog shit policies. Those are immoral policies. 
And if those are th if those are your policies, then uh, oof, you need to you need to figure yourself out. Um, but yeah, there's no there's no there's nothing at this point uh, that uh, that the UK courts can say that the United States government can say are reasons to keep Julian Assange imprisoned. So why is he not free yet? Why is he not on his way to see his kids and his wife? Or, his, or rather his fiance and his father and his mom and his brother and all the people that want him out. Why is he not with his family? The United States is preventing a journalist from being with his family. That's what's happening. That's what Americans, America's government is. It's preventing a journalist from seeing his family. They are torturing him because he revealed what a bullshit government they are. What a warmongering, murderous government America is. And it's not just America. He's revealed things about all world governments, various corporations. He revealed what the TPP was. That's what WikiLeaks did. And because he did that, because he exposed the truth, because he exposed the, 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 the governing elites for who they fucking are, they are keeping him away from his family and torturing him in prison. That's just the plain and simple. That's that's plain and simple what it is. There's no more excuses. There's no more runarounds. That's what it is. Uh, Alley Cat, thank you for stopping by the stream uh, and thank you for your comment. Uh, Julian exposed crimes, uh, government crimes, and government crimes should be exposed. You're absolutely right. Thank you for your comment. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists, such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gastola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them. Um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it, and uh, and you guys help keep this uh, keep keep this this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.